There are some major developments happening in Frederick City over the coming months, and whether you are a local or you're considering moving to the area, these are things that I think you need to know so you understand what the future of this city looks like. So let's just dive right into the three major developments that are happening in Frederick. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you for being here. I make videos like this every single week about what it's like to live in Frederick and various places across Maryland. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of my videos right when they come out. All right, so the first major development coming to Frederick very soon is the Visitation Hotel. Now, if you live in Frederick, you know all about this hotel because construction has been happening for quite some time now. But if you're not from here, let's just go over a little bit of the details of this project. The Visitation Hotel is being built on a historic property in downtown. It's a three acre lot that was formerly an all girls school and the developer is keeping pretty much all of the main building intact uh, on the outside at least to keep that historic charm. And the hotel will have 57 standard rooms and 10 extended stay rooms and it's going to be affiliated with the Marriott hotel chain. It's going to feature a full service spa and a fitness center, a performance and events venue, and a white tablecloth restaurant and bar. And in addition to the restoration of the historic building, the project will feature construction of multiple new condominium buildings featuring luxury single floor units ranging in size from 1,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet. And these one to two bedroom condos will feature private balconies as well as private two car garages. And building one is already sold out, but building two, which has available units, is expected to be delivered in 2024. And a major update to this project is that they just had a fire breakout in the main building and it caused about $200,000 in damages. But the good news is that the developer said it's only gonna set them back two or three months at best because what they do best is restore old buildings and restore damaged buildings. So this is nothing new for them. They're gonna just charge on right through and the project should be completed in early 2024, if not the end of 2023. And the second major development coming to Frederick is the downtown hotel at Carroll Creek. Now, this is a much bigger project and it's also in response to the need for hotel rooms in downtown Frederick. It's expected to really increase the local economy to have a major impact, which we'll go over in a second, but this is a much bigger project than the Visitation Hotel. Now the final square footage has not been approved just yet by the city, so we don't know that number, but they're expecting 183 hotel rooms to be in this building and about 20,000 square feet of rentable meeting space, which is much needed in the downtown community for businesses. Also, this is going to be renovating the former Frederick Trolley Building, the historic trolley building in downtown Frederick. So this is one of the cool things about places like the Visitation Hotel and now the Downtown Hotel is they're taking historic structures that are already in downtown and making sure they keep them and renovate them and keep them as part of the city's history, which is really cool to see. And one of the greatest parts about these hotels coming to downtown is the economic impact. And we don't have numbers for the Visitation, but I do have numbers for the Downtown Hotel at Carroll Creek. So let's dive into those to see what impact it's going to have on the city and county and the state of Maryland as well. They're expecting $25.8 million in direct, indirect, and induced spending annually from this project. They're also expecting $1.5 million annually in incremental Maryland state taxes and nearly $1 million annually in local property taxes, roughly 170 additional public parking spaces, public access to the hotel's restaurant shop, shops and rooftop, meeting space, which will bring conferences and groups to the downtown area from out of town. It'll bring an estimated 280 total direct, indirect, and induced jobs to the area, and it will be a catalyst for over $100 million in follow-on development in downtown Frederick. And if you're a Frederick resident watching this and you're thinking, I cannot stand another development in my city, yes, a lot of people don't want extra building going on in their city, but just know that this is what's going to bring significant economic development and growth to Frederick. We need to have businesses investing in the city of Frederick so that the city continues to grow in a positive direction. And with all of this growth and development and increase in population in Frederick City, that brings along with it the need for more public services, which is why the Frederick City Police Department has asked for and has been approved for a new headquarters on All Saints Street in downtown. 
The mayor and the board unanimously approved the $19.8 million project to build this 60,000 square foot headquarters in downtown. And I agree this is much needed when you have a city growing as rapidly as Frederick. And if you're from here, you understand you're going to need more public services and you're going to need more space for that police department to grow. And these are just three of the dozens of projects that are pending approval, currently approved and under construction in Frederick right now. And if you're a Frederick City local, do me a favor and leave a comment so that the viewers know what you think of the projects that are currently going on. And if there's any projects we didn't mention that you think are very large projects that they need to know about, list those as well. It will help our viewers determine whether or not to move to Frederick. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about living in Maryland.